Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Eddie, and I'm one of the third grade faith formation teachers here at St. Michael's. I wanted to start by welcoming all of you as newly First Communion, having just made your First Communion either over the summer or in the beginning of September out in the parking lot at St. Michael's. What a very unique and special way to celebrate your first Holy Communion here at St. Michael's. It certainly will be one that you guys will remember for a very long time. So one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about today is what we call the liturgical year, liturgical calendar or liturgical year. So let me start by asking you guys, everyone knows what this is, right? Just a regular old calendar. This is the month of October. But the liturgical year, even though we talk about it as a calendar, actually is a very circular thing. And it does follow along in the, in the same time that we are is in the months of October or November and goes through the months, but it's kind of on its very own schedule. Let's just take a quick look at this piece of paper. And as you can see, there's a couple of neat things about this. First of all, as I mentioned, it's a very clear, interesting circular. It almost looks like a game board, right? There's a very big space here, and then a couple of smaller ones, then another big space. And what's unique about those spaces? Can you tell me anything interesting about those spaces when you look at them? Colors, right? There's this really big one that's colored green. And then we have a little bit of white in between, but this white and this white are kind of the same, but this white is a little bit different. And we'll talk about that in a minute. And then we have some purple and some more green and then purple and back to green. Now we can call it purple or we can call it violet, but those are what we call liturgical colors, green, red, white, and violet. Now remember I mentioned that there was a couple of spaces that were white that we kind of think of along the same time, the same color white, but there was the other one that was white. But if you were able to look really close, if you're able to look really close, the letters are in red. So let's take a minute and just look at this again. And what do you see is the shortest amount of spaces of all of those? That one right there, right? The one with the red. And that is what we call the three days. Then what do we see as the most or the longest space of color on the circle? Green. And green is definitely a lot because we have a big long circle of green here and a little bit more over here. And again, we said it's broken up by some of the other colors like the purples and the whites. So when we talk about the liturgical year, we talk about some really interesting things that happen and they all revolve around Jesus's life. What the biggest one that we see, as I had shown on the circle, is green. And that is what we call ordinary time. Now, we don't want to think of ordinary time as just plain or boring ordinary. We want to think of it as the time when we listen to Jesus's teachings very important time that he walked here and taught us so many wonderful things for us to learn. The ordinary time is when we think of and learn about Jesus's life. Now, during ordinary time, we talked about the color green. Has anyone ever paid attention 
to what Father Wayne wears when he says mass. He wears a vestment. And the vestments are the colors that represent the time of year that we are in. Right now, if you were able to go and celebrate mass with Father Wayne, does anyone know what color he would be wearing? Right now, we are in ordinary time. So he would be wearing a green vestment. Can anyone think of a time that you see Father Wayne wearing purple? A couple of times during the year, right? One of the times is before Easter, which is Lent. And the other time is before Christmas, which is Advent. So violet or purple is used in the seasons of Advent and Lent and some other times that we want to remember and represent humility and waiting and a time to reflect, a time for us to prepare when we are going through Advent, we are preparing for when Christ comes. And when we go through Lent, we are preparing for when Christ will die. Then, just before we get to Easter, just before we get to Easter on that circle, we talked about the smallest period of time and we call that the three days. And that starts on Holy Thursday. That's the night that Jesus was betrayed and handed over to be crucified. So we think of red to think of Christ's passion. And it also represents Christ's blood, the blood that he shed when he died on the cross. When we see Father Wayne or another priest, if you go to a different church, but when we see the priest wearing white, usually we are celebrating, we're, we're in joy. And that is what we see at Christmas and at Easter. And white is a time of representing light, the light that Jesus brings to us every time we celebrate that part of this liturgical year, and it represents triumph. It's truly a pure color that helps us remember that Jesus was pure and gave up everything here to help save us. The other thing that's kind of neat when we talk about the liturgical year and we talk about going through it like a circle, just like the earth, time goes around. But one of the things that I wanted to show you is this little screw, see? Now, if we look at the tip of the screw, you can see it a little bit there, right? But it's round, the screw is around. And if I had a piece of wood or something that I wanted to put the screw in, I would turn it. And as we turn it, it goes further and deeper and further and deeper. And it also gets harder to turn because it's getting strong. It's grabbing. It's getting strong. So it's deeper. And when we go through the liturgical year, we go deeper into the life of Christ, the life of Jesus, by celebrating the seasons in the order that they go. We are able to learn what Jesus taught, 
we celebrate when he was born. We remember the passion of his dying. And we celebrate again when he rises from the dead. Now, we talked about the colors that we see Father Wayne or the priests wear. And we talked about what they, what they represent. Um, I just wanted to finish with a little bit of a prayer. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So remember when we talk about liturgical year, we remember that we are learning to go deeper and become stronger in our faith by practicing what Jesus has taught, what Jesus' lessons were, and celebrating his birth, his death, and his resurrection. I hope to see you guys again next month, and I hope you have a very, very wonderful few weeks. Take care.